This episode on the Scrap Mechanics Showcase Series. The BattleBots Arena of Death and Stuff. Hello everyone and welcome to the Scrap Mechanist Showcase. This episode will be featuring the BattleBots Arena with a download link in the description so you guys can give it a try too. So I'm going to give you a detailed look at what to expect, how everything works, and any tips or tricks that I've learned along the way. Alright, to start off we're going to do a quick rundown of the arena. So here we have our stadium seating. We can accommodate quite a few people as you can see. And we have our little walkway down here, going straight out to the arena. Now these green zones are intended to be the starting areas for the bots, so one over here, one over there obviously. And over here we have our ref's chair. One button controls, when the players are ready, hit the button. And the flags will lower and raise to signal the start of the match. Now, some of the more technical aspects of these edges here are actually all rolling edges. So as you can see, the edge will actually roll with the car, making it much more efficient to push cars off. I was finding that cars would get stuck on the edges often, so this is to prevent that from happening. Um, now, a little bit of a trick here of what I did with these edges, because... We don't have the weld tool yet, and I wanted the edges to be more stable and supported on both sides. So, I've gone and removed the addition that I added here to show you what I was a little bit worried about initially. I was worried that if a vehicle was to fall off one of these edges here and onto the rolling edge, that you can see that it tends to bend. And I was afraid that the vehicles would end up breaking the edge in the long run. So what I did was a little trick, which I'm going to show you right now. Alright, so I'm going to give myself a little platform here to hop on. Now, what I did was I actually put, as you can see, I put a bearing right here with a block on it. And then when I extend this out... Oh, one second here. When I extend this out, there we go. I can actually wrap around, just like this. So now that one piece is contained within this section here. And what that allows me to do, now when the vehicle drives over it, you can see it is much, much more stable. It no longer bends down. It is contained very well within that little uh, box there. So next up as a feature of the arena are these things right here. These aren't uh, just for show, these are actually functional shortcuts or functional boosters. A quick way to get up to the arena once you've grabbed your vehicle. So as you can see I'm going to grab this vehicle here and instead of walking the long way up of this ramp and maybe fa falling off if I'm lagging, especially if I'm someone else's server, instead I can just run here, the sensor will activate these and it'll shoot you right up to the arena just like that. And as you can see, I do have one on each side, so each of the players can grab their car and go to their respective sides of the arena and begin the match in a pretty quick fashion. All right, to the battle bots. You can see we have six core battle bots here and two little extras over there, which I'll go into. Uh, I'll explain what those are a little bit later. But uh, these front three are ones that I've created, whereas the back three are ones that friends have created. So let's start with some of the back ones here first. We'll go with this monster right here. This is a very intimidating and scary looking monster, and it's very difficult to get into from the top, so I've actually done the liberty of making this little hole here so you can just hop right into the driver's seat. So you do have three buttons. Uh, one is to activate some downwards thrusters. Two is to open and close the doors, of course. And three is the main button right there that activates the primary weapon system, as you can see. Very, very scary looking, very intimidating, and this was actually built by a friend of mine who goes by Mr. Diamond Person, and I will be linking his channel in the description as well, so be on the lookout for that. 
And here, as you can see, we have a really aesthetic and awesome looking battle bot modeled after a black widow, as you can see by this, uh, by this little red design here on the back. Now this one is actually uses glitch steering, which I've found out unfortunately doesn't work as well on the concrete of the arena. As you can see, it works really well here on the ground, but on the concrete, it tends to be a lot more friction and it can't turn nearly as easily, which is very unfortunate for its effectiveness in the battles. But the wheels are actually on a bearing, which allows it to get really close to the ground, which despite its small size, gives it a very big advantage for being able to get under things and use its little fangs here to actually flip the opponents. And this works really well for getting underneath the opponents. And it also has these little back flippers too, which uh, I think can help it flip itself back over. And also, I found that it helps when you flip somebody on top of you, you bring them to an edge and you can push them right back off you with those flippers in the back there too. This wonderful creation was created by a friend of mine who goes by Sheriff Monkey, and I will also be linking to his YouTube channel in the description, so check that out below as well. Alright, so up next over here we have a very simple looking design, but this thing is surprisingly effective. And the reason being is that because the wheels fold all the way down, this thing will rest on the ground and nothing can really get under it. And once something does accidentally ram into this thing, you can just press number two and you will lift it up instead. And this one was made by my friend Johnny Harbison, and I will be linking to his channel as well in the description. Okay, now on to the ones that I've created here. Uh, I'll start with this middle one here. This was actually the first one I made. Uh, it's got some, as you can see, some spinning things on the front and back. Little uh, hatch right here to get in. Now, this one looks pretty intimidating, as you can see from these uh, very sharp, pointy-looking spinners. But it has a little bit of trouble putting them into effect. But when it does, it can actually be very effective. As soon as something gets caught by one of those things, this thing can just get right under them very easily and actually push them all the way to the other side. Nothing too complicated. It's more of just a tank. Like, you just ram stuff with this thing. All right, this one over here is the second one I've made. You can see we got a little bit of a fiery pixel art on the back here. It's like a little bulldozer action and uh, some flippers here on the front. All right, so these flippers here are clearly the primary function. You can see that they get very, very low to the ground, which allows you to uh, ram up and get underneath things. And of course, flip them up on top of you or hopefully flip them all the way over. But it also has this back here. It works backwards as a bulldozer. Now, what it can do is if there's something that's even lower to the ground, you can press number three here and this thing will go all the way down and touch the ground. You can back up into them, lift their edge up just a little bit, and I've actually put thrusters pointing towards the rear so you can get more thrust to just push people right off. Alright. So here we have my uh, third creation and my favorite to play with as far as the battle bots go at least. And this is called the Blue Dozer. One of the few ones that I've actually named. And this, there's two ways to get inside. One is through the mouth right here, and the other one is there's a, uh, a door in the back. So once you're inside, you can close the door. And it looks like just a box, but this thing actually has a little bit more than meets the eye. You can see that it opens up its uh, flap here to create way more surface area to, uh, to push somebody with. And a little bit of skull pixel art on the side that's revealed as well. And the fun part is this entire front section actually pushes forward. By pressing the number two, it goes in and out, and you can see you can even keep it open to, uh, to keep your, your surface area at maximum capacity right there. You can see that the pushing mechanism is um, a folding piston action with some thrusters to give it a little bit more of force as well. Now, the difficult part about this thing was actually making it stable, because when it tended to push heavy things, it would actually get off axis and, like, tilt and get stuck. So what I've actually done inside here, uh, as you can hopefully see, is I've created some tracks 
that everything is contained in. So you can see that these all move on independent tracks on the left and the right, which keep it all in line and very, very stable compared to its uh, previous, previous builds. So this one I just really enjoy playing with. Just really fun to use this mechanism here and just pushing things around. Now getting out of this vehicle, you either have to remember to push number four, otherwise you're gonna be stuck in here, or another way to get out is if you use your lift, you can put it on the lift and then place it right through the mouth there. What are these ones over here for? These ones I have separated over here because I actually use these for stuff other than BattleBots. And this one was made by a friend of mine who has a YouTube channel called Scrap Mechanic Labs. Uh, so I'll be linking that in the description as well. It's got some awesome little wheel concepts here. Uh, and what I actually use this for is a retrieval vehicle. It is extremely fast, so if somebody gets lost somewhere on the map, you can get over there in pretty much a matter of seconds. As you can see, this thing is extremely fast and extremely versatile. You can see it's got its glitch steering as well, and it's extremely fast. So this is what this is what I usually do. If somebody gets lost, if somebody ends up going far away, I can just chase after them with this thing because it's really, really stable and it just slides all over the place because of these wheels. So that's just, it's a really fun one to play with as well. <laughs> so what about this pink thing right here? This is not a battle bot at all. This is actually, someone started building this and I added the second seat on the uh, top. And I just left this here because this thing is just so much fun to play with that I just didn't want to delete it. I've had more fun with this than any of the BattleBot stuff, to be quite honest. There's no controls other than just go. And this thing will just take you who knows where. But if you're... <laughs> If you pay enough attention, you can try to control your thrust to point where you want it to go as it flips around and only use the thrust when you're going in the direction that you're trying to go. So I have no idea. Is that the BattleBots Arena? I don't really know where I'm going right now, but I'm going to try to find... Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can find our way back here. Yeah, there we go. Almost there. Spinning around a little bit. I'll give you a little hint. If you get this thing stuck way out somewhere else and you need to point it in the direction back, go ahead and put it on a lift, raise it up a little bit, put the lift on the opposite side that you want, to f want it to face, and you can go ahead and drop it and tip it right over where you want it to go. And then just boost yourself over there. All right. <laughs> I love this thing so much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this uh, first episode of the Scrap Mechanist Showcase series. I hope you guys did enjoy the BattleBots Arena. Now, remember, the link is in the description, so please download it. Go ahead and play it. Make videos. I want to see what you guys come up with. If you guys build some new bots, if you guys add to the arena, and if you guys have some funny or interesting moments that happen on the arena here. And also, please leave a comment. What do you want to see next? What do you want to see showcased? If you go to my creation montage, you can see what I have already made. And all of those things are up for being showcased in a future part of this series. And remember, the links will be available for download. So if there's something you want to play with, let me know. And that'll influence which one I'm most likely to post next. Also, please subscribe if you haven't already. And leave me a thumbs up so I know that you like this. And thanks again so much for all the support. I'm really happy that this channel is starting to grow, and I hope I can continue to produce some really fun and interesting content for you guys to watch in the future. And I'll see you next time on the Scrap Mechanist channel.